Good morning, children. This is kind of an interesting story. It's from a long time ago. There was a preacher in England, and he talked to his congregation. He said, you know what? I would like to invite you all to figure out who the worst person is that you know and pray for them and pray for them for a very long time. And then when the Holy Spirit leads you, you'll go and talk to them about Jesus. Would anybody like to volunteer to do that? Only six people did. But the pastor decided, I can't leave this to my congregation alone. I must do it too. But he didn't really know very many bad people. So he went outside and he started walking the streets of London. And it wasn't long before he found kind of a rough looking guy lounging on the corner. And he said, excuse me, sir. I'm a minister and I'm looking for the worst man in London. Are you him? <laughs> what? No, I'm not the worst man. Who told you that? Everybody knows the worst man lives in those apartments over there. Number seven. Thank you. So he walked down to the apartments and he knocked on number seven. And a big guy with tattoos all over his body answered the door. He said, hello, sir. Are you the worst man in London? He said, who told you that? You bring him here and I'll show you there's a lot worse people than me in London. Oh, I see. Well, do you know who the worst man in London is? Well, everybody knows who he is. He's that guy who lives down at the last house at the end of that court. He's the worst man. Thank you very much. I think I'll go see him now. <laughs> and he went down and he knocked on the door. And somebody said, come in. And he opened the door very slowly. And said, good evening. Uh, if you'll excuse me, I was looking for the worst man in London. Would you happen to be him? He's like, wife and husband are looking at him very strangely. He looked at his wife and he said, Lass, tell him what I was just saying five minutes ago. Ah, you tell him. He's like, well, well, first of all, the guy did introduce himself as the pastor down the street. That's helpful to know, isn't it? And he said, well, I have to tell you, for 12 days, 12 weeks straight, I've been drinking and drinking. And I was just saying to my wife, this has got to stop. And if it doesn't stop, I'll put it into it myself. He was feeling desperate. And he said, if it doesn't stop, I'll drown myself. And he put his head down and he said, hey, I am the worst man in London. And the pastor said, well, Jesus Christ has sent me here to give you great news. He wants you to know that he can turn the worst man into the best man and he did it for me and if he can do it for me he can do it for you do you really think so yes i'm quite sure he can the pastor offered to pray for the man and the man agreed that prayer was the beginning of a new life for that poor sinner he, it brought him the power to give up his old life and become a radiant Christian. Soon, he was bringing all kinds of other people to the Lord. And now that worst man is going to be in heaven someday with a crown full of stars. And so, who's the worst person you know? Would you be willing to pray for him? as we let the Holy Spirit lead and go before us and soften the hearts of people we pray for. He can do wonderful things. Please be open to praying for somebody and asking them to get to know Jesus. You can go back to your children, your seats, children. <laughs>